Welcome back, everybody. February 10th, 2019, 9.44 p.m., and we are checking out Winter Storm Maya just in time. It's been a week since we've had an upload on the channel. I apologize for that. I was sick for a couple days. Bad ear infection. Uh, I posted a little post in the community section to touch base with you guys uh, the other day. So, But we are back, and we are tracking Maya right now, which has already dumped... Um, a year's worth of snow, apparently, in some areas of Washington and Oregon. You can see this strip of moisture just counterclockwise spinning as it hits the Sierra Mountains, Sierra Nevada Mountains in California that we speak about often, right over Nevada, and then up back curling counterclockwise over the states of Washington and Oregon. Now, this is Maya right here. This part that you see this strip of moisture coming down from the Pacific over the um, Baja region of California and then Mexico and then Texas. This is actually a separate system which will interact with Maya in the coming days. As you can see here on Tropical Tidbits, we do have a little bit of a mess going on by the Great Lakes, but that's a quick mover and not part of Maya, believe it or not. So this is going to come and go um, within an eight-hour period. Uh, Winter Storm Maya is actually back in this area as of right now, but if we look at Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, particularly for the area around the Great Lakes and the Northeast, that is where uh, this is really going to peak this storm. So it's going to spread out over the plains, and then as it gets closer to the Great Lakes, that's when Minnesota, Iowa, and our typical states in the northern area by the border of Canada need to keep an eye out for this system. And the reason for that we could see right here is as we move into Tuesday and Wednesday, you can see the central low pressure is right here, just above Tennessee and Kentucky. We have a long strip of severe weather possible from Louisiana all the way through Kentucky and Tennessee. Strong push from the Gulf is keeping this storm up into the northeast. That is why you see this bow here, and you see things like this. These are uh, possible snowfall totals through Wednesday morning now. Keeping in mind it is only Sunday, uh, these are the Wednesday totals, uh, lots of room for change there, but if it does change, I believe it's going to change um, moving upwards, as in more snow than what they're showing here. I actually think uh, Minneapolis and these surrounding areas might get a closer to a 5 to 8 deal as shown here by uh, Marquette. But um, again, that is uh, in the coming days. We will talk about that. Um, we are back on our normal schedule now. So nearly a year's worth of snow in one day in a major U.S. city. But the thing is, is they don't say what city that is. They just have this crazy picture of a truck just buried in snow. Apparently, this was a snow a barricade. And with the crazy winds associated with this storm, you could tell that a lot of this was uh, snow blown onto this barricade, which makes it, makes it look like it's like 9 or 10 feet tall. Um, but that just looks like the top of the wall. Uh, don't get me wrong, a lot of snow fell in Oregon and Washington, guys. So that is uh, certainly a fact. And just as Maya is reaching the northeast, we need to look up at Washington and Oregon once again because that is our next winter storm, which is already en route. As we could see here by Tuesday when that stretch of uh, severe weather is expected and the storm Maya begins over the Great Lakes, uh, we have that second uh, low system moving into Washington and Oregon. Uh, that would be Tuesday. So according to the GFS, the new updated GFS as of now, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday is going to be the northeast day for Winter Storm Maya. And just as that's hitting, that is when the beginning of the next winter storm is going to be hitting Washington and Oregon. And then if we move into the future, I know a lot can change. We just see the Sierra Nevada Mountains getting slammed every four or five days. It's absolutely unbelievable. And that was Caroline calling on her break. She says, hi, everybody. But as we were saying, this is uh, basically wave after wave of these nor'easter-looking systems. As you can see here, follow the low pressure. This is Maya once again. We backtracked. So it looks like that nine symbol, you get that counterclockwise rotation with the moisture being pulled from the Bahamas and the Gulf. And then look here at the Sierra Nevada Mountains once again. Severe weather moves into the plains. And then you see the low pressure and then the high pressure above it, pushing it, forcing it. And then we go nor'easter shape once again. You can see how everything kind of peaks right around this area. And this is ground zero. This is where the low pressure systems meet, whether they're coming from the south over the Baja or the north um, coming over Washington and Oregon. You can see they kind of brew right in this area. And that's when they decide whether they're going to whip up or stay across that I-70 
uh, highway that runs from Utah all the way to Chesapeake Bay. So this is what we're going to be used to seeing for the next couple of weeks, guys, at least going into the end of February. You could just see it's one a week, just like last year when we were dealing with the month of March and those four nor'easters. It was uh, basically one every four or five days, and you could see the same thing here. Uh, here's Maya leaving on the 13th. 14th, 15th, and then the 16th and 17th, there's another one. And then you'll see by the 21st and 23rd, there will be a third. And there's the third right there, looking an awful lot like last March, uh, which unfortunately is after February. So we have a long time to see what's uh, to come. And as of right now, it's looking like these things are just going to be one after another after another record-breaking snowfall in states that are used to snow, record-breaking snowfall in states that are not used to snow. And that seems to be the uh, theme we've been seeing all year, and in fact, the past 18 months at least going into last winter. Uh, so I don't see much changing as far as that pattern. So uh, what I'm basically trying to say is um, a lot of what we're seeing now is what we're going to be seeing, not just through this winter, but going into next winter and possibly even the winter after that. I know that's like a lot to take in, but it's just a pattern that I'm beginning to see uh, that began about two years ago. Um, and that includes hurricane season as well. So even though this past hurricane season uh, wasn't as bad as 2017's was, um, it's basically like a seesaw event. Like we have a bad winter with a weak hurricane season, then we have a strong hurricane season with a weaker winter. It's kind of balancing in that uh, sort of way. But um, with that said, guys, that's what I got for you for now. I'm going to make a follow-up video with more uh, detail about Winter Storm Maya and what's coming soon after that. Um, not only that, but we had a little bit of a shake up in Canada today. Uh, 4.2 struck west of Port Hardy, Canada, uh, 10 kilometers depth. It was probably a little more shallow than that. Uh, this is the lowest this website goes as far as depth of earthquakes. But we can see it's right along that uh, step uh, fault line we're always talking about, right off the Cascadia subduction zone. Um, so that's it. That's what I got for you guys. And we will be back uh, with another update on this shortly, uh, probably a couple hours. But um, glad to be back, guys. Thank you for all the positive comments and the feedback. I appreciate it very much. Uh, me and Caroline both appreciate it. Um, and thank you. We will talk again very soon, guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.